My name is James Lamb, and I'm part of the Bike Sheds Youth Theatre Group. And in the 361st film, I play Ben, the captain of the uh, 361st Fighter Squadron Group. Look, freedom's bleeding. We're in safe hands. Am I a bad person, Ben? The um, 361st Fighter Group came over from America to Bottisham as at the height of World War II. They were used as escorts to a lot of big heavy bombers. Um, Bottisham is where Bike Sheds Youth Theatre Group is also based, so it was quite interesting to get to know the history of the area as much as possible. The Cassell mission a couple of days ago, we lost a whole lot of bombers. It's a heritage lottery funded project for um, Bottisham Action for Youth. All of us were very interested in kind of getting straight in there and doing as much as we could to kind of learn. The, the families in Yeah, we've been getting a lot of help from uh, two local historians, uh, Terry and Paul Krask. They've been kind of an invaluable source because they've been able to give us historical accuracy in the film and uh, and information on the costumes and locations to be shooting. Yeah, we've got to, uh, them in again Youth Theatre Group have used a lot of video and film in their That's plays before yeah. and um, we just wanted to kind of build up upon that knowledge to make this history, whole history project like a really good kind of film project as well. Really start to think about your characters, really feel it, make it nice and natural. All that energy you came here with this morning Bring that into this scene now. Bites has also been involved with the filmmaker Peter Harmer and we've been using a lot of sound equipment and filming equipment such as the cameras and the boom mics and uh, the equipment behind me as well which we've been using to do a lot of post-production work so cutting and editing and it's been a, a really good experience for all of us. Hey. So how have things been? In the film I play um, Ben who's the captain of the uh, 361st and he and has a relationship with one of the local girls. He, yes, he does. Um, who's also, who happens to be in a relationship with her boyfriend who's overseas at the time. It's very deep, but a lot of those situations, again, were happening during the times. What's a couple of little chaps you're about to be, Zara Dorothy? We can all learn something from them, you know. There is good in all of this. This is the scene that we're going to be showing at the Cambridge Film Festival, which we've been working on today. And it's the scene where the group of girls have been together and they're discussing the arrival of the American fighter pilots. I think they put on those silly accents to try and emulate the movies. I for one will not fall for it. Margaret, that is a preposterous suggestion. All I'm saying, Dorothy, is that I don't trust them. Not one bit. The character, Margaret, has the kind of very negative attitude towards having these strangers in the town. Charming! They're downright vulgar. I'll have you know I've met them. I had the unfortunate experience of meeting two yesterday. I'm quite sure one of them looked at my bottom and winked at me. I felt most violated. <laughs> and then the other ladies who are just very kind of ecstatic and over the top about it, because obviously they're still quite young and they're quite excited about having these uh, these men coming in. <laughs> oh, they're all six foot, a lot of them. Charming grins, toothpaste out of their teeth. Oh, I'm in love with every single one of them. How do I look? Oh, good heavens, the whole village has gone mad. It's been kind of really interesting for us to uh, do a drama, a dramatisation of real events that are happening at real times. Working on this has been a very professional kind of attitude. We've been all taking turns using the boom mics and the uh, filming cameras and editing this kind of stuff to get ready for the film festival. And it's just been this massive experience. It's been just really, really good. And um, it's it's just brought a lot more kind of information for us as kind of youth actors just to have that ability and skill to do that if we ever need to in the future so it's been great yeah.